Welcome back, everyone. I'm glad that you're here today on a very, very beautiful Friday. Friday, April 3. We're waiting for the Lamb of God. We're waiting to celebrate that wonderful day when we remember all that Jesus did for us. And we have a great celebration as a church family. And I'm so excited for that day to come. And each day is another day closer. And so we are ever so close to celebrating Easter. And I can't wait to do that with you over Facebook. It's a little bit different than being in person, but it will be very exciting and we'll try to make the best of it anyway. And while we wait for the Lamb of God, we remember that God is with us every day. He's not just with us on Sundays or on Thursdays or Fridays or Wednesdays or Mondays. He's with us every day and he loves us so very much. I'm lighting our Christ candle to help us remember that God is here and that he loves us and that he takes good care of us no matter what and gives us many blessings. And so there is our Christ candle that reminds us about how much God loves us and that he's here with us. Today, our story is going to be very exciting. It's a story that Jesus told those who were sitting around with him and listening and learning. And so we're going to hear that story today. And then I've got a challenge for you to do tonight too. So it'll be a lot of fun. Our story today is called Treasure Hunt. I wonder if you've ever had a treasure hunt where you've been looking for something. Well, let's find out about the treasure hunt that Jesus was talking about when he was telling people. Let's read it together. The story is called Treasure Hunts. One day, Jesus was telling people about God's kingdom. God's kingdom is wherever God is king, Jesus told them. It's wherever God is in charge. It's where he fills your heart up with his forever happiness and you stop running away from him and you love him. That's God's kingdom right in our hearts. But sometimes people couldn't understand things very well. So Jesus helped them by telling them stories called parables. Because that thing about God's kingdom, that's hard to understand. So Jesus told a story called a parable. Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a hidden treasure. And then he told them this story. I wonder what we're going to hear about. What kind of treasure? Once upon a time, there was a man working in a field digging. So there he is digging. But what he doesn't know is that in that field, there is buried treasure. How exciting. So dig, 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 clink, clink, clunk. Uh-oh. His shovel bumps into something that's hard. Hello, what's this? He picks it up, dusts it off. It's a chest. Oh, ho, ho. It's rusted and locked, but creak. He pries it open. And when he sees inside, takes his breath away what he sees in there beautiful glittering gleaming twinkling sparkling precious jewels oh it's a treasure chest wow he wants that treasure he needs to get that treasure he must have that treasure somehow even if he has to sell everything he has so he can pay for it. He quickly buries the treasure again, runs home and sells everything he has. He takes the money from the sale and goes and buys that field. Now he owns the field and the treasure that is buried in it. He runs back and digs up the treasure again. Look at what else is buried under there. <laughs> he also owns that hence. Wow. Hmm. So he was very excited to get that treasure. What does Jesus say? Jesus said coming home to God is as wonderful as finding a treasure. You might have to dig before you find it. You might have to look before you see it. You might even have to give up everything you have to get it. But being where God is, being in his kingdom, that's more important than anything else 
in all the world. It's worth anything you have to give up, Jesus told them, because God is the real treasure. I wonder if we're that excited about God that we can't wait to get our hands on it, that we can't wait to experience him. I wonder if we're that excited. Sometimes grown-ups have a hard time with that, but I think kids do too. To be so excited about God, that's great. And God has a treasure too, of course, a treasure that was lost long, long ago. What could God's treasure be? What was God's treasure? His most important thing, the thing God loved best in all the world. God's treasure is his children. It was why Jesus had come into the world to find God's treasure and to pay the price to win them back. And Jesus would do it, even if it cost him everything he had. Wow. And that's what happened. That's what we're going to read more about in the coming week. God gave everything he had to get his treasure, his children. That's us. What a great thing. And treasures are so much fun. A real treasure would be great to find. But I have a challenge for you tonight. I have put in our post today a link to an indoor scavenger hunt. So mom or dad or grandma and grandpa, big brother or big sister can print that off for you. And take some time in the next couple of days to look for all of these things and see if you can find them in your house. If you're not reading all of these words yet, they even have one on there that's a picture one. So you can just print off the picture one and look for all of those things. And we're going to be looking for some very interesting things like picture frames, paper clips, and flip-flops, along with lots of other things. Not as great of a treasure as God or God finding his children, but still lots of fun to be looking for all of that. So be sure to click on the link and check out the scavenger hunt. In our comments today, I'll also post a recipe because yesterday we talked a little bit about chocolate chip cookies. And it made me so excited that I went ahead and baked some of my very favorite chocolate chip cookies last night after we were done. And they are so delicious. I wonder if you did that too or if you baked some brownies or something else. Let me know if you did that. I know that I certainly love our chocolate chip cookies, so we made a bunch for us here. I hope that you have a good time looking for all of those wonderful treasures in your house. Let me know how it went, and we'll see you again tomorrow.